Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another of these sports you video. Another in person one. We just posted our Jets versus Falcons reaction. We're all watching here, all four of us here watching some NFL games. So if we do look around and go, oh my God, that's because a big play just happened. As we were about to record, the Saints got a Hail Mary touchdown to end the half. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're actually here to talk about college football, something we don't talk about unless it relates to the NFL, which this does, to be fair. And it's, as you saw by the title, Spencer Rattler, Oklahoma quarterback, who was benched. Uh, by freshman Caleb Williams. Obviously, his Oklahoma played Texas yesterday in that comeback win. Didn't help um, Spencer Rattler that like Caleb Williams led that comeback. Um, but obviously, Spencer Rattler, arguably the number one prospect coming into the, the draft. And now I think could potentially not be drafted this year if you were to enter. But I think what we'll be writing down is some uh, transfer, des not destinations, but will he transfer maybe some schools that fit? And uh, obviously, you know, will he be drafted this year? And if you were to stay at Oklahoma, how can he rise that stock? Because right now he's not a first round guy. Um, unfortunately, he's not a first round quarterback going into league. But Charlie, in terms of first reactions to this, what do you think about uh, the kind of Jalen Hurts uh, not Jalen. Why did I say Jalen Hurts? I don't know what I'm talking about. Think about the NFL, uh, about the Spencer Adler situation. Yeah, I think that Spencer Adler, let's not get ahead of ourselves. He is very talented. Obviously, he was projected at number one overall going into the season. And I think that for, oh, was I going to say, for a guy this talented as a sophomore, he was very impressive. And that's why he was projected at number one. And he didn't have the tools. He wasn't ready for the NFL when he was projected at number one. But now, junior year, they're starting to look at guys as potential NFL players. And he does not right now have the tools to be an NFL quarterback. And that's the problem. He needs to put more work into the things that he's not good at. He has, as you said earlier, his pocket presence is not good. His awareness in general. But he's got good arm talent. And he's got the dual threat uh, that, that most modern-day quarterbacks have. And I think while he has the tools to be an NFL quarterback, he needs to work and transfers definitely could be in the cards because I mean, Williams played really, really well. And that doesn't help his case as a freshman. It's a Tua Jalen Hurts situation from uh, what's it four seasons ago now in the college football championship, let alone just a regular game. But uh, Keen, if you were to get a transfer, like where do you think some of the top spots landing places might be? That's a great question. I don't even, before I even get into that, because that's, again, I'm more of an NFL guy. I don't even know what colleges would fit him. Um, I'm sure you say name a, a couple, but for, for uh, I think right now off the top of my head, maybe a Georgia, obviously they may be losing their quarterback this year to the draft. Maybe, you know, who knows? I mean, not Alabama, Bryce Young, maybe in Ohio State, I know their quarterbacks are struggling. Maybe he goes to like a Wake Forest and Notre Dame type school. Who knows? But uh, if we look at his stats, so obviously, Again, stats matter. Do they matter a lot? Yeah, they matter a lot. Um, I don't know where I was going with there. But as you look at Spencer, obviously 6'1", 200. I think what they had going for him is obviously not his size. Um, I think that's definitely what we can tell is not very much going for him. Um, you know, I think as you touched on, Charlie, it's that ability in the pocket. What I love, you guys have seen some of my film breakdowns. It's, you know, obviously navigating through the pocket's a big reason why I like quarterbacks or what I what I look for in quarterbacks. And when I start to do college player breakdowns, that's definitely something that I'll be looking for. And while Spencer Rattler isn't particularly awful at it, what a lot of the plays you see, especially against Tulane, it's you don't need to move around the pocket. Because sometimes navigating through the pocket, you need to, and sometimes you don't. You have a clean pocket, you sit. And what he does is he tries to use his mobility he steps up into into pressure when that you know middle of the pocket is collapsing and gets sacked um i think definitely what's going for him is he has that modern quarterback um i would say quarterbacks are starting to trend towards you can be a little bit smaller um six one is not right. ideal kyler murray obviously now matt Crow, who i would say is a quarterback one now he's been very good so again it's what you do with with your size and i think spencer rattler um has been doing amazing, but if you look at his stats, um, not a particularly terrible season. I think his QB rating is terrible. He's 10 touchdowns, five interceptions, and 71.9 um, QBR. And then we look at, uh, you know, the game against Texas, it was just bad. 53% completion. That's Drew Locke numbers. You will not be a successful quarterback if you are completing just above 50% of your passes. As a quarterback, it is your duty to complete passes unless you're Taysom Hill and you're, you know, used as a gadget player. And then obviously 111 passing yards in, um, and an interception, I believe, uh, again. So, again, you know, his rating was 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 obviously higher than average, but overall his QB rating has been a 71, um, which is not good. You know, that's you want that at least at 90. Um, and for someone who, for him, should be a number one overall pick, you're looking at, I want that to be an 131st, you know, 
they're not they're definitely not 31 quarterbacks that are better than rattler but currently he's playing at that level charlie in terms of his future what does he do is he transferring this year is he staying at oklahoma and trying to wing that job back what do you see for his draft future since we are an nfl channel let's talk about what do you see for his future um, of the draft i think it's tough because i do think he still has talent talent enough to get drafted in the first round or the second round of next year's draft class i don't know about this year anymore yeah because we just don't know if he's gonna play it all this year because if he transfers he can't play this year and if he stays caleb williams looked really impressive and Mm -hmm. i might start williams over him so i think if he's smart he's not he's not entering the draft this year and i think it's tough because next year's draft class for quarterback is also really good with bryce young and gonna say it wrong but dj DJ ugyo even though he hasn't looked great either but he's still a sophomore, mm-hmm. and that's where sophomores to juniors, it's a big jump. They're looking for NFL ready, and it, Bryce Young already looks NFL ready, but Spencer Rattler did not, and they knew that, but they were hoping he'd get better, and they were confident he'd get better. Uh, any of you who are real OGs of this channel know how much I like Justin Herbert coming out of college, and that's your typical quarterback, your old-fashioned quarterback with his height and his size. Now, he also had the running element. He is very fast when you watch him play. But these undersized quarterbacks are starting to come in a lot more frequently, and they're having success in the NFL. Kyler Murray is a prime example. He is, what, 5'10"? And he is probably prime MVP candidate right now. And I just think that Spencer Rattler, in terms of the draft, still has that first-round talent, but it could it could easily be i could i could see a reasoning for why he might or in a a late round we do apologize with the mics i forgot this oh, excuse me. there i i forgot oh, we have to switch the mics back and forth so charlie was quiet for a little bit i do apologize but yeah in terms of his future i think this year if you were to enter the draft my prediction i texted it we have a group chat about four of us my take was he will not be drafted this year for you to enter um if i'm a if i'm a team i'm not risking it um it's a quarterback class that um i would say is very raw you look at the top it's corral and probably malik willis and you know malik willis we know is a project um and matt Crowell, i'd say for what it is um you know probably won't get a lot of you probably won't win Heisman on Ole Miss. So you're taking a chance on a quarterback who's not on a huge team um, or not in a big college like in Alabama or in Ohio state or, you know, Georgia, those bigger colleges. So again, it's, it's a quarterback class overall. That's very interesting to watch, but, I mean, this quarterback class this year in terms of in the NFL hasn't been fantastic. So maybe this one will be bad going into the draft, but then they're all good. So you never know, but uh, yeah, for Spencer Rattler's future, I would say right now at Oklahoma, Caleb Williams is the better quarterback. He's the bigger guy. Um, I do not think he has a future at Oklahoma. That's the conclusion. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Do make sure to subscribe, follow us on social media. All the links are in the description. You can also message us over there down below. There you go. And like the video if you did enjoy. We respond to all comments, everything like that. Weekly predictions coming tomorrow for week six, week seven, week six. Week six, you're right. Um, So we'll see you next time. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Key McDermott, Charlie and I know. See you in the next one.